All right, so CBD beauty products are all the rage, and they promise. They make they promise amazing results from clearing up acne to soothing inflamed skin. But do they really work? Dr. Sonia Batra is here, a dermatologist and co-host of the Doctors. She has the answers to my questions. Maybe I um, hope so. we were Thank just talking about me. CBD oil yeah. and how it's such a rage everywhere uh, across the across the spectrum. But mm -hmm. what is the thought process behind it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so CBD derives from something called the endocannabinoid system, which was actually kind of over the last 20 years, a network we've been researching and discovering that regulates pain, inflammation, oil production in the skin, appetite. It has an incredible balance system that's meant to keep your body in balance with nature. Mm -hmm. But CBD or cannabidiol is derived from the plant cannabis, which includes both hemp and marijuana. Right. But really important to know that it's separate from the THC, which regulates mood and thought and makes you high. So I think that's what's confusing to people is, is CBD is everywhere, but how does it relate to the psychoactive properties of sure. THC? And it's totally separate. So. Let's talk about the effectiveness of this because sure. it's up, it's down. Mm -hmm. Some people say it doesn't work and others Correct. swear by it. Correct. And that's because there is really interesting preliminary data that it does decrease inflammation in the skin. It regulates oil production. It can decrease redness. Certainly many, many studies on pain. But the problem is the way it's regulated currently. So back in late 2018, the FDA deregulated some of the medicines that were CBD based and had less than 0.1% THC. But all the beauty products are seeing all this hype because of this preliminary data is, is different because those are cosmetics. And beauty and skincare products don't have pre-market approval from the FDA. So you're seeing just a proliferation every shelf from Nordstrom's yeah. to Neiman Marcus to CVS at all different price points. And the problem is while the FDA will come after them if they make false claims that they treat a disease and they claim to be really kind of more of a medicine, right. or if they have more than 0.3% THC, which is considered a trace amount. Other than that, unless you complain that there's a harm to you or it's an adulterated product, you can pretty much put yeah. it on the shelf. I know that they, I've been told that the research team here has conducted a couple of research, mm -hmm. uh, and they found that there wasn't even any CBD oil in the products that claimed to have that in there. So what should you look for? Sure. So, so you're right. And that's the big problem because there is preliminary data, but that doesn't always translate to honesty on the shelves. So you don't necessarily know the purity and what you're getting. Right. So what I tell patients to look for if they are actually looking for CBD is look for something derived from hemp because that's going to be less than 0.3% THC. Mm -hmm. Anything derived from cannabis or from the marijuana brand of cannabis or strain of it is going to be from 5 to 35% THC, so may have more mood altering properties. Mm. So you're going to look for things derived from hemp that are pure CBD, CBD isolate, or full spectrum spectrum plant-based CBD. Sure. So that's what to look for. But I think even more importantly, I think if you're looking at a product online, look at the credibility of the website. Does it the, look like something that's just on the hype bandwagon? Have they just thrown it in because everything mm -hmm. has CBD? Or is it actually, actually a the, legitimate, well so, thought out So company? the takeaway is what? The takeaway is that the data is really promising in a preliminary state that CBD actually does have some anti-inflammatory, anti-redness, and acne regulating effects. But you just don't know yet Yet what you're getting. So it's yeah. sort of a buyer beware because it's not regulated properly yeah. as yet. So like you said, some of the products that claim to have it and they're just kind of jamping on that hype aspect will not actually even contain CBD. So if you are looking for a product, make sure it's a CBD isolate and make sure it's a red kind yeah. of a reputable company. It's such an exciting, it's exciting world out there waiting to be discovered. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for having me. All right.